So hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. So I was just showing you the visa center. I will just show you the street and uh, share with you a little bit my experience of this place. And because uh, um, you know, I, I have been in China for the last 12 years now. So that's not the first time that I do the visa. So I've, no, I've known it all. At the beginning in France, uh, you had to go to the embassy. So the embassy is not far away from here and it was really messy. So after a while, why it was messy? Because over there at the embassy, when you go there, is the total chaos. So it has, it has to do with uh, the people who work there, of course, and with the lack of training and the lack of organization. Uh, so when you go to the embassy, the guy who opened the door is Chinese, he's an intern, he's there, he got the job there because he has the network. And in fact, many of the people who work there they cannot speak French well. They cannot speak French well. And before it was even worse. So they can, they can very, they, they have, they, the, their knowledge of French language is very limited. And uh, of course, because that's how it used to be, you know, uh, uh, the people get the jobs because of the network. So they get, they, they have a good network and they get the job here at the embassy. So they are not, they don't have the skills. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, um, uh, so you have many guys who are just there working as intern. Oh, that's nice. That's Paris. Oh, I got the job in Paris. Oh, and I get paid a little bit. I don't care. And and then whenever you come inside, you ask them a question. They're like, uh, 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 and you cannot, you can hardly understand what they say. It didn't change much. Uh, I had to go to the embassy this time for the legalization. So to legalize my uh, criminal record, to legalize my degree. I've been there about two weeks ago. I had to queue all the way, and then when you, you have, there's nothing, nobody tells you anything. So you see someone at the counter, you queue, and then when you finish queuing, uh, the woman will tell you, oh, you need to do this copy, you need to do that stuff, you need to do this. Okay? And they don't try this anywhere. So either you know it, either you have to queue. So I had to queue, and after I finish queuing, um, after I finish queuing, uh, then uh, let me face the camera a little bit. After I finish queuing, then these guys tell me, oh, you need to go there to do the copy, you need to do this, you need that. Okay, if you don't have the chance, like you are done. And their copy machine was broken that day. So they, she was like asking me, oh, where did you do your copy? Because I anticipated that I had to do the copy, so I did the copy at home. Uh, <laughs> because you need to anticipate. If you don't anticipate, you'll find yourself there stuck. You don't have any, any means to, 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 copy, uh, to copy the things and to do the papers that they need. So... Uh, yeah, that's that's total mess. And I and once you do once you you do all the copies that they required, then you have to queue once again. So I had to queue twice. So it will take you like two hours. That's what it will be. And you see, there are so many Chinese people who are there just waiting, like this, sitting and waiting. So that's that's a terrible mess. Uh, so after a while, uh, I think that was before the Olympic Games, they decided, okay, now you don't need to go to the embassy anymore because this is bad for the image of China. So we are going to open a place here, just on Champs Elysees, in front of Arc de Triomphe. You know, so the place was just here on the left. You know, and um, I went there. It was very, very professional. Uh, so the thing is, uh, you had to uh, to take uh, to register online, and then you register online. You go there, and you can. You don't have to wait. You can wait like five, ten minutes, and you go there, and it's perfect. However, uh, since uh, Xi Jinping, there is a big change. You know, China, the economy is not good. Uh, in France, the economy is not good. The global, the global growth model is crashing down. So anyway, uh, these guys, they shut down uh, this place that they had here. And they opened down the, down the road here. So that's the new place that I just showed you. Uh, why is that? Because they don't want to show that uh, they are wasting the public money of uh, the Chinese government. And so they, they shut down the place here. Uh, now my experience today with the place was, uh, I mean these guys who work there, they are much more professional, right, that's for sure. Uh, but I still had to wait for 45 minutes, so I took, uh, you register online to get, uh, to get the time and the date, I had to wait for three days, and then I had to wait 45 minutes here when I arrived there. And of course they are not nice, as the usual, so they barely tell, say hello to you, they're like, give me this paper, give me that paper, you know. Uh, but at least they can speak French well, at least they know what they are doing. And the other thing is, um, I saw many guys who were coming there, they were working as agents, so they're working as agents to, uh, to, uh, to deal with the visa, for people's visas, so that's what they are doing. And these guys, these agents, um, they are able to, to skip the queue. 
So you, uh, you are waiting for 45 minutes and you see people who come in front of you with uh, uh, many, many passports because that's their job, that's what they are doing, and they skip the queue in front of you. I mean, what the hell, you know? I mean, everyone should, sh should, 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 should queue. There is no reason that, okay, because it's her business or it's his business and he's an agent, then he can skip the queue and you have to wait for 45 minutes. I think it's not fair, you know. So that's the only thing that I, that, that I can say about it. And I guess why you had uh, so many people there, uh, it's because of the reform of the new, of the new regulation, you know. Uh, now, uh, I have seen some guys in front of me, he was starting his company, then he had to go to China. But uh, since he was starting his company, he was unemployed. Then they refused this visa. They say, no, you are unemployed, you cannot come to China. You know? uh, there was a girl, I, I think she was recruited in, in Shanghai, and they asked her the originals. And she said, I don't have the original, I can only give you the copy. Oh, you need the original. So she needs to uh, wait maybe two weeks or three weeks until she gets the original, the original paper. So there is a real mess. And even for me, I am there, I have the invitation letter and everything that I get and they say, oh, you still need to go to the embassy to uh, give your fingerprint. So I need to give my fingerprint at the embassy. That's uh, really, um, really nonsense in my, in my eyes. And uh, I'm really angry about this because it's really the total control. Uh, I will try to go there right now. She told me you can go tomorrow. I will try to go there right now. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to work out. A funny, a funny story also about this place. That's why I'm showing you uh, from this way. Uh, at the beginning, <laughs> when you used to go to the embassy, that's, there was uh, just a big glass door like this. So you could see inside. Uh, and after a while now, they make it like a dark glass because they don't want people to see inside. And then I'm thinking why they don't want people to see inside because it's a terrible mess. Uh, you always have people shutting, people complaining. Uh, because it's messy, you know, it's the mess. <laughs> the woman in front, she was pissed off because I didn't wait for her to go through first. But I mean, um, <laughs> I don't care, you know, I do it like in, like in China. And also the thing is, uh, the thing is, uh, I'm not responsible for the truck that parked on the, on the pedestrian lane, you know. If she's not happy, she can call the police and say, hey, the truck shouldn't be parked here on the pedestrian pass. <laughs> That's how I see it. Let me just show you the entrance of the... I, I'm, I'm not in a good mood because I think I went through so much, you know. Uh, they ask me this paper, that paper, this paper, that paper. And what's the meaning, you know, to just to, to teach there. Uh, and and uh, even, even if you consider that I'm married, that I have kids, you know, the way they treat you. And I think that's the thing. I think they don't want foreigners anymore, you know. You know, when they did this, this kind of agency, it was to cut the cost. And also they, are, they close next year, they, next, next week, there's a national holiday. So okay, so that's the place, okay. Bye bye guys.